Capacity building and training is one of the most requested uh, functions of our member countries. In 2008, Interpol formed a brand new directorate entitled Police Training and Development, which has currently evolved into capacity building and training. Currently, there are four subdirectorates. The first is police training. That looks after all of our member country and NCB's police training requirements. The second one is staff training. There are Interpol staff that come to Lyon or IPSG or the regional bureaus are in requirement of some developmental training ranging from Interpol's tools and services right up through to management. Our third subdirectorate is partnerships. This looks after projects that are basically run from external funds that focus on Interpol's priority crime areas. And the final one is the integrity and sports directorate, which basically uh, encompasses an agreement between Interpol and FIFA uh, to combat match fixing in football. Interpol has partnered uh, in the last three years with Department on Foreign Affairs and International Trade Canada. In particular, in areas such as human smuggling, counterterrorism, drugs and organized crime, United Nations sanctions, the 1267, and with DFATE, we've had the ability to build some very solid programs uh, that also coincide with Interpol's core crime areas. These, uh, many of these programs are regional, but all of them have an international ability to reach out. Thanks to DFATE, we have had the ability to run not only capacity building and training programs, we have had the ability to expand our tools and services in terms of, for example, allowing counterterrorism experts to be equipped with computers and laptops and to be trained and access our Interpol tools and services. One of the fundamental things that we've really focused on in capacity building and training is sustainability and standardization. What we found was we were relying on a few core amount of excellent police officers to conduct some very, very good police training and some very, very good police operations. Instead of doing one-off training in which there was very little return on investment, we piloted on Interpol I-247 instruction course in which we trained 15 police officers worldwide to a standard certified by Interpol and allowed them to go out and train other people. In less than one year, those 15 people reported back to us that they trained over 1,000 police officers at no cost to IPSG. We looked at our capacity to deliver operations with the new formation of the Integrated Border Management Task Force. One of the things that we wanted to do was take the success of the I-247 instructors course and utilize that in the operational context. By choosing uh, police officers worldwide and training them to a skill and a standard that's been approved by both capacity building and training and the specialized crime area, we had the ability to train 15 subject matter experts on Operation Stop. Almost immediately after receiving that training, we received external funding to allow us to continue on with the pilot. That allowed us to conduct, for the first time in Interpol's history, numerous Operation Stops in several countries, in several airports at the same time. So there was an immediate return on investment and those people have now gone back to their respective countries with the skills, the competencies, and the ability to continue to run those operations. One of the benefits uh, from the train the trainer on Operation Stop is that Interpol now has a cadre of trained and certified instructors strategically placed worldwide. So at any point in time, Interpol has the capacity and the ability to draw upon these officers to assist us in conducting 
regional operation stops, international operation stops, and we also have officers that are trained worldwide on Interpol's tools and services and operation stop that have the ability to continue to excel in this area. They would partner with the regional bureaus, their respective NCBs, the CCC, and the various subdirectorates here in Lyon, but they have the core skill and independence and ability now to actually go out there with confidence and the competencies to conduct further operations.